Hello, and my name's Greg Egan, and I'm a social worker registered with the Australian Association of Social Workers. And previously I've talked about cognitive behavioral therapy, but today I'd like to talk about one of the techniques, which is behavioral activation. And I'm gonna give six behavioral activation techniques to improve your mental health using cognitive behavioral therapy. So let's get into it. So what is behavioral activation? Well, it is an approach that uses behaviors to influence your emotions and your emotional state, which is often used in CBT, but also as a standalone tool to improve your overall mental health. It focuses on helping people to engage in activities that are enjoyable and meaningful to them in order to increase feelings and reduce depressive symptoms. Now let's look at the first sort of um, technique of behavioral activation that I'm using as an example here. Number one, set small and achievable goals. So setting small and achievable goals can increase your sense of accomplishment, which in turn can improve your mood and can improve your motivation. Start by identifying specific and achievable goals that are aligned with your values and interests. And use SMART goals, if that helps, specific, measurable, achievable, um, results-focused time frame sort of thing. SMART goals. So number two, engage in enjoyable activities. So first, you could be setting some goals of the various things you're going to get involved in. And next, you're going to start picking these activities. So you're going to identify activities which bring your pleasure or a sense of accomplishment and schedule them into your day or week. This can be anything from going for a walk in nature, reading a book, hobbies and interests, really any activity that brings you joy and brings you happiness, brings you peace, for example. Number three, now schedule these activities and create them into a routine. So creating structured routines can help you stay on track and provide a sense of purpose. So identifying activities that you enjoy and schedule them into your weekly routines. What I often say to people as a stress management technique is that um, the things that you do to maintain your general health and well-being should be put into a routine, whether it's every Friday night you go to the gym, every Wednesday night you do meditation, every Monday night you're doing a book club, whatever it actually looks like. Scheduling them into a routine um, can actually help. So number four, use positive self-talk. So pay attention to that internal dialogue and try to replace the negative self-talk with positive affirmations. For example, instead of saying, I'm not good enough, or try saying, I'm doing my best and that's enough. And just generally try to replace a lot of that negative thoughts with positive self-talk. Number five, practice mindfulness. And now mindfulness can be a variety of things from breathing techniques to meditation to yoga, but it can also just be embracing your senses in the moment. Like what am I seeing, hearing, smelling, touching, for example, in any activity you do. So practicing mindfulness on a day-to-day -day basis can also help reduce stress and anxiety. So, of course, number six, get out and mix with people, whether it's socialization at work, whether it's um, social groups you connect with, family, etc. Just make time to connect with your friends, your family, or other supportive people. Socializing overall can help improve your mood, reduce your stress, and increase a sense of belonging. And here's just a couple of links that I've put up on behavioral activation. So if you like these sorts of videos or you've got any comments on this, please add them in the comments below and please subscribe and hit like as I continue to add more videos like this. Thank you for listening.